Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today we're gonna be completing the quest contact. The quest requirements are Exploring's Little Helper and Prince Ali Rescue. There are no stat requirements, but having at least a level 40 prayer would be helpful for the boss fight. I just need it. Simply any light source. If the light source is extinguishable, then you will also need to bring a tinderbox. For the recommended items, approximately two standard potions should be enough, as well as an antidote. And for the boss fight, if you're gonna be using your prayers, maybe one or two prayer potion doses would be nice, and for the rest of the inventory should be some good healing food. As for the gear, if you are a high level, for example level 70s stats or higher, then I would suggest you to simply use melee or ranged. You shouldn't really have much difficulty with this quest boss. If you do not have 70 base stats, then I would suggest you to bring along your best in slot magic gear and your highest DPS magic spell. In my previous guide, I only had 39 magic, so I'm also going to be using Firebolt in this guide. If you have better DPS like Blast Spells or Iban Blast, then be sure to use that. For teleports, one teleport to El Carrot. I'm going to be using an Amulet of Glory. And then two teleports to Sophonum. I'm going to be using a Pharaoh Scepter teleport. The Pharaoh Scepter will be able to teleport you straight to Sophonum, but it will need to be charged here in Sophonum. And since we need to start this quest in Sophonum anyway, why not just simply charge it with some gold or stone stuff? It can be noted, simply bring it to the Guardian and he will charge it for you. If you do not have access to the Pharaoh Scepter, then I would suggest you to use either Narda Teleport Scrolls from the Grand Exchange, or maybe use a Scroll of Redirection to make a Polnifniche Teleport. And if you do not have access to either of those, then it is going to be Carpet Rides from El Carrot. Also, I would suggest you to bring along a one click to save teleport if you are a low level during the boss fight, and also one teleport away after the quest is completed. Where to start this quest is here in Sophonum, just south of the Pyramid Plunder, where we have charged the Pharaoh Scepter. Let's talk to the High Priest, where we've completed the Iclarin's Little Helper quest, and select option 1 and then 4. If you haven't already started the contact quest right after completing the Iclarin's Little Helper quest. After the cutscene is over, select option 4, is there any way into Manifast, the city to the west, from underground? Yes, but it is quite dangerous. So we're gonna be exploring that dangerous dungeon. Therefore, let's go northeast to the most northeastern building. After the quest is completed, there inside of that building will also be a bank, which would be very helpful to bank the stuff that we got from Pyramid Plunder. In front of the northeastern building, they will find the NPC called Jax. Talk to him and keep pressing space, and you will be able to climb down the ladder inside of the building he is in front of. Don't select anything, just go downstairs. Next, once you're down, next to you you'll find another trapdoor. Climb down and proceed. Yeah, you will be very careful. Keep pressing space. They're just warning you that it is a very dangerous dungeon. What I first want you to do is go to your combat options and turn off auto retaliate. Next, let's go south. Follow the dungeon, make a U-turn, and then keep going north. Go anti-clockwise around the pillar. Because the southern one has a trap. After we've done that, let's turn on Protect from Magic and go west. Take the first path going south and then go back east, but there will be a spike trap. Click on it to evade, maybe turn on Protect from Ranged if the Locust Rider is near you. And depending on your agility level, you will either take up to 17 damage or simply pass it. Next, simply use your minimap. 
to go through the wall crushes. But don't go too far because there will be another trap. This time not on the floor but in the walls. Disable this trap. Once again, depending on your thieving skill or something, you'll be able to evade it. Next, let's go around the corner, go back up north to the next room, but don't go inside of that corridor, because if you turn our camera a little bit west, we'll find a strange floor. You could, like, mark that tile, so you make sure that you're not standing on top of it, else you'll be dropped down into the pit, and you'll be needing to go back up this ladder. Also, there will be a Scarab Mage. Turn on Protect from Magic and follow the path. Go we'll make another U-turn and stand in the northeastern corner. Once in the corner, run straight south until you can't go any further. And let's now take the western path. Here are some wall crushers, but these are not the same ones from before. These ones we will need to pass manually. So, go stand next to them, walk diagonally, up tile west, walk diagonally, and next, turn on Protect from Mage, and pass the Scarab Mage. Follow the path until you can go south. From there, go simply straight west, using your minimap. Keep using minimap all the way west, you'll automatically pass the Vault Crushers as well as the next set of traps, and climb down the ladder. You've made it past the Labyrinth for the first out of two times. Once you've made it to the bottom level, follow this dungeon to the end. At the end we should find a large crevice or abyss. Well, first off we'll find a body. Search it for a parchment. Read it and then close it. Continue going west until we see an NPC across the abyss crevice. Let's talk to Maisa and select option 2 and then 3. She will be asking you something about the Prince Ali Rescue quest. The first option is option 2, Drainer Village, and the third answer is option 3, Leela. Next, we will need to talk to Osman in front of El Carrot's palace. So, let's teleport to El Carrot. Go in front of the palace and let's talk to Osman. Select option 2 and then 3. Next, let's destroy the parchment. What we will now need to do is talk to Osman in front of the Stovenham gate, and then afterwards we will need to make our way to the bottom level again to fight the boss. So be sure to restock us some supplies if you have to. The boss is weakest against magic, and the second best option is weak to stab weapons. The boss is poisonous, and it will also spawn a mage, archer, and a warrior minion. So, once you think you are prepared to fight the boss, let's make our way back to Sofenum. I'm gonna be using a Pharaoh Scepter Teleport to teleport to the Agility Pyramid. If you do not have access to the Pharaoh Scepter, then you can always use a Nora Teleport Scroll and then take the carpet to Polofnitsch and from Polofnitsch to Sofenum. If you don't have access to the Narda Teleport Scrolls, then you can use a Scroll of Redirection on a House Portal and then make a Polofnitsch teleport, and from Polofnitsch you can take a carpet to Sofenum. And if you also do not have access to the Scrolls of Redirection, then run south to Shanty Pass with 405 GP, and take the carpet to Polofnitsch, and from Polofnitsch to Sofenum. Once we have arrived here in Sofenum, just north of the Rock Merchant, they'll find Osman. Let's talk to him, and he will say that he doesn't have access into the city of Sofenum. And he also says that he's too old to be able to climb city walls. To which you answer that there is a secret passage from the Ixlarin's little helper quest. 
which is the rocks just a bit northeast next to the Wanderer's camp, which will take him inside of the city. Once you tell him this, you will see a cutscene. Once the cutscene is over, let's click to continue and enter the city. Next, let's go back inside of the dungeon. Let's go back to the bank building. Let's climb down the trapdoor. Climb down the trapdoor once again. And let's go through the labyrinth once again, but this time a little bit faster. So, let's go a bit south. Take the northern path. Once north, use protect from magic. Continue west until you can go south. From there, go east, but watch out for the trap. Evade the first trap, the first tile. Next up, use your minimap and go east. Keep going east. You will automatically evade the wall crushes. Don't go too far and evade the wall trap. Next, continue going west. Watch out for the marked tile. Keep going west. Use Predator for magic and also go south. Continue and then go south, then go stand on the eastern corner. From there, go straight south. Once there, go west. Pass in the wall crushers. These ones you will need to pass manually. Once done that. Protect from magic, pass the scarab mage. So you see another crossroad. From there, go south automatically. Ow. And then go west keep going west pass another trap automatically to go down the ladder and this will trigger the boss fight once the cutscene is over the boss fight will start immediately immediately use protect from missiles and go east go stand behind Kaylee's dead body these rocks will be your safe spot if you are a higher level for example base 70s and higher you can simply tank the hits of the three minions and just keep on dealing as much damage as possible to the boss. If you are a lower level, then you will need to hide behind the rocks so the boss doesn't hit you. The minions do hit up to 20 each. If you want to take care of them, then you will need to hide behind the rocks behind Kaylee's body so that the boss doesn't hit you anymore and you can change your protection prayer to protect from magic and kill the mage. I don't really suggest killing the ranger because you're using protect from ranged for the boss anyway, so that doesn't make any sense. The warrior basically gets stuck and usually he will not be able to reach you. If he does reach you, you can simply defeat him and hope for a better spawn next time. So if you're a lower level, just kill the mage, ignore the ranger because you're using protect from ranged and the warrior will be stuck. If you get poisoned, be sure to drink an antidote. And if the light goes out in the dungeon, then be sure to reignite your light source. Once you've defeated the boss, let's talk to Osman. And after speaking to Osman, we will need to pick up the Keris that has been dropped by the boss. Let's pick that up. And what we will now need to do is go back upstairs to the High Priest to complete our quest. But once we are down here, we can already complete a diary task. A Desert Heart diary task. Therefore, we need to go back upstairs to the middle floor. So, let's make our way all the way back, back to the ladder, and climb up the ladder. Next, let's use our minimap, go straight east, until we see a Locust Rider. That is just south. Let's use Protect from Ranged, and defeat the Locust Rider. But the last hit needs to be done with the Keris. The Locust Rider is also pretty weak against melee and magic. So if you've brought magic, then it is easily defeatable. Just make sure that the final hit is done with the Keras.
And once the final hit has been done with the carries, you have completed a hard diary task in a desert area. What we will need to do is make our way back to the High Priest. The fastest way would be to use a Pharaoh Scepter. But if you don't have access to those, then let's make our way back through the pyramid. Use Protect for Magic. And let's go north. Go back to the Scarab Mage. Go west to the Scarab Mage. To the other wall crushers that we need to pass manually. From there, hug the eastern wall. Go straight north to the corner. From there, go northeast to the marked tile. Do not stand on the marked tile. Keep going east, then south. Pause the wall traps. Pause some more wall crushers by using your minimap. Evade the final trap. Use protect for magic. Go north. Go north. Use protect for magic. And go through the northern path. And go back up the ladder. It's either that or using a Narda teleport or a Pollen Hitch teleport, but this is the easier one. Yeah, the altar is done. Nice. Let's make our way back to the High Priest to complete our quest. And congratulations, you've completed the contact quest. You are awarded with the Keras, 7000 thieving experience as well as two XP lamps, which you can put on any combat skill outside of prayer. Also, you have now access to the bank of Sophonum. And the bank is here below the most northeastern building. And this is my guide how to complete the contact quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.